Hello, Curries. It's good to see you again. Hey, I'm Ben from Ben's Bow Show. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about A to Z bow gear before the season starts. Hey, the kids have school. They all get checklists and pencils and papers and crayons and glue and all that stuff. That's all fine and dandy. But dude, we're going bow hunting. Let's make sure our list is complete. So I'm gonna kind of just go through the gear I use from bottom of my feet to the top of my head. We're gonna rock it out. I'm gonna go through what I use. Different climates might have different things. All right, we're gonna start right from the bottom of my feet. Here we go. 800 gram Irish Setter Red Wing Boots. Love them. <coughs> what goes inside the boots? Let me find them here. You gotta have special socks. Very comfortable. They keep the moisture out as well. Keep your toesy warm. You gotta have them. <coughs> Moving our way up from there, we've got the bibs. Some people use bibs. Some people just use pants. Some people all use a one-piece suit. A couple reasons that I use camel insulated bibs. One, they have a full zipper down the front, okay? Sometimes you gotta go, all right? Makes it easy access, okay? Next thing that I like the bibs for is it does cover, by the time your coat gets over top, it'll cover any air pockets that potentially might have uh, some odor coming through it. So it'll at least be covered there. Next thing that I have that I make sure on my bibs is that it has a side uh, opening zipper for easy access to put boots on and take them off. The other thing that I really prefer is to make sure that it has some side pockets, not just a nor normal one. You gotta have pockets on the sides. Hey, granola bar from last season. <coughs> Ain't no joke there. Other side, also what you're gonna need you got your gut knives. And hey, you only need these if you stink and kill something, okay? Awesome, I got a buddy that's sending me a good knife, I'm really looking forward to it. So, insulated bibs, all those options on it. Working our way up, okay? We have, oh, let's say inside the bibs. Very nice. A Little bit of Under Armour, anything. Different brands out there have a little bit of insulated, thick, tight to your skin. Keep moisture going, get her done. Okay, here we go back up. Hunting coat, insulated of course. Uh, this particular coat I chose, number of reasons. One, again, I like access to having side pockets. I knew I had two of these. Chapstick, you know what kind of flavor I chose? Apple, do deer like apple? Everyone shake their head, yes, deer like apples. Okay, it's illegal to bait deer in New York. But if I have apple scent, I suppose that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I get that from Melaleuca. Gotta have a pen. Everybody knows why you have a pen, right? You will if you knew, if you killed a deer, you would know why. You have to fill your tag out. Make sure you have something. Don't leave the woods without filling your tag out. Anybody know what these are? Absolutely. You tie them off to your deer's horn, cut a little slit in the ear, attach your tag to, nice little zip tie. More pockets, more pockets. The other awesome thing, tissues, very good idea to use. One thing I love about my coat, it's two layer, okay? I can break it off into one if I want. If it's a cold, cold day, I, I'm on with two. So pretty much anything November and on, I'm double layered. Beginning of bow season in October, I'm just one layer. And on the back, of course, just pin on your tag. Gotta have it, gotta have it. As we continue on, we gotta keep our uh, little flanges warm. Pending again on the climate that you're in, but usually October I'll just have a thin pair. Uh, lightweight glove, usually you go to Walmart or any, any Dick's, uh, Bass Pro Shop, whatever. They'll have a lightweight, a medium weight, and a heavyweight type of glove. Other thing I'll use, Open finger tipped. I specifically like these for bow hunting. Nice, easy, full control over your finger. And it's time to go. Heavyweight. 
There ain't nothing wrong with a camo fanny pack. You know what I like about my camo fanny pack? Yes, I can have my cell phone in here and be going. It's okay. Working our way up, a little neoprene face cover. I love these things. Hello, Curry's. It's good to see you again. This deer would be delicious with a bottle of Chianti and a side of fava beans. I'm gonna keep my face mask on for this purpose. The hat. I'll show you a side profile and why. Hey look, my ears are covered up. Hey look, my ears aren't covered up. I can hear, the wind's coming and it gets cold. I can easily cover one side up. And let me tell you why I wear a tight fit hat, okay? Obviously reversible, so this is what I do. I also have my other hat, okay? Tight, tight knit hat, allows me to get this one on. It stays nice and secure. I can use my visor here as a sunblock, which I've used many, many times. Uh, also, if it starts sprinkling a little bit, it's not in my face at all. I still have good line of sight, nothing in my eyes when I'm trying to uh, line up the deer to take it. The other thing, reversible hat, when I walk out into the woods, that's me. Walking out, of course, with our other orange safety vest, clearly seen. Hey, I don't have a big rump, not a lot of padding there, because I work out. Nice seat, gotta have them, man. Just carry it along with you, get one with a handle, got my bow. Still all hands, I'm good to go. You can grab the ladder and go up, or people use you know, a little hook to hook on. We still have both hands all free. This is going with you up into the tree stand anyways. So on my bow, obviously we're drawn back, you have a release. I've never lost my release because every time I put my release right back on my bow. I did have sunglasses that I found that I'm really excited about in my coat pocket because, hey, it does get sunny out. Got my calls, of course. I use the extinguisher, love it, nice and simple, easy to use. Take rattling horns up with me. These are not actually the horns I use. If you've seen one of my previous episodes, I think the horns are in there. You get the idea. We're about ready to go out into the woods and weeks before, we need to get our clothes prepared. So what do you gotta get? Some scent killer. You gotta kill the scent on your clothes. Get that done. We have an HE washer. Make sure that you buy the right one. If you have a high efficiency washer or not, it does make a difference. You wanna save your money on not buying a new washer, but by buying good hunting stuff. After, <coughs> After the washer, you gotta put things in the dryer. Why not some 3D Plus dryer sheets? I believe this is autumn. Uh, autumn, yep. Earth and autumn scents. Gotta love it, you need these dryer sheets. So when you're about to get naked, we're gonna be using a soap bar. <coughs> now, they do make body wash and shampoo. I understand that, but the reason I use a bar of soap is I just use the bar of soap, okay? I don't have any washcloths that might have come out of the washer and dryer with some nice pretty scents that your wife put on it. This is straight, odorless, body soap, that's what I would recommend that you do. There's no loofer involved with one of these. If you use one, stop using it. Straight bar soap, you're not getting any scents on you except from the bar soap, which is odorless. So the body wash and shampoo, as you can tell, I just use a straight shampoo. That's it. I wash from top to bottom, get all the dirt to run down. Ain't that a visual for you? Ooh. Lastly, you gotta have some scent control for the BO, yo. Some sell deodorant, some sell antiperspirant. I recommend getting antiperspirant odorless deodorant. So hey, I hope this checklist was helpful for you. Getting ready for the bow hunting season. There's some links below for the products I was using. Awesome, 
And if you can buy them at your local store, man, support your local business, all right? It's a good thing. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, send us some tweets on Twitter and pictures on Instagram. Until next time, I'm Ben with Ben's Bow Show. We've got one question for you. Are you ready to do some big game hunting?